Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg with Basic Sorgonomics for this April 9th, 2015. And today, have we talked about Clamor on here yet? And I know we've talked about it on the blog, uh, of course. Um, and uh, you can tell me and yell at me at Sorgatron on the Twitters as well. Um, but uh, we had I had a blog post last week, uh, our email newsletter. If you haven't yet, please sign up for the uh, creator's newsletter over at Sorgatron.com. Uh, this is where I'm going to be talking about, you know, I'm trying to do a write-up a week uh about the about this kind of stuff uh anything i'm finding interesting any, any interesting tools out there for creating content or getting it out there and uh really i, I kind of picked the four best things i do in the week because i know we do a lot of stuff and i, I know you can make some people's head spin that, that follow everything i do which i'm amazed that there might be some of you that try to do that thank you very much um but, uh, you know, this is something we kind of break down and I say, hey, these are the four things I think you should check out for sure along this line. A little bit less wrestling and stuff like that. But it's going to creep in because it's what I do. Uh, but this is one that's been kind of growing over the last few weeks. And I've been kind of becoming more and more impressed with this. Now, this is an early app. And, and I know talking with a colleague of mine that's been uh, thinking of ways that we could use this. Um, we, uh, you know... You know, we've been talking about short form stuff. We're talking about Instagram and Twitter and, and, and Snapchat and, and making these 10, 15, 30 second videos uh, so we can really kind of reach out to to, to that fan base that's, that's looking for that stuff, right? The people that live on Instagram, live on Snapchat. And this seems like another entry in that. Now, uh, it's called Clamor, C-L-A-M-M-R. That's right. We took out the E. Very Web 2.0 of them. And like I said, I have a little bit of a blog post talking about this, and I'll get a little more extensive in this uh, in this uh, show. But uh, the biggest thing was uh, it was for an email I received from um, um, uh, this girl uh, in a, a music college, Berkeley College of Music. Um, and uh, at first, I'm like, I don't know if I can workflow this, right? Um, thankfully, uh, I was already trying to get a workflow going for getting Instagram and Twitter video versions of the shows out to help promote it, which I've gotten good response from. And uh, this was something that was 18 second audio clips. And the other worry was, well, is there an audience? Are people on board with this? And as I'm going and started putting a couple things in there, yes, there is. Very much so. <laughs> uh, at least that I'm seeing, and I don't know, maybe they're all populated bots or anything, but just at least interactivity in there. Um, but uh, it's an iPhone only app for now, and there's not really much of a web inf interface for you guys to check out. Um, but it, it, it works fine. Now, what I've done is I've plugged it in, so I have content going there all the time. I just have a Sorgatron Media one, and you know, bits from this show and other shows that I do are all going in there. So there's a variety. So really, this becomes a sampler platter of what we're doing on this network and client works in there all kinds of the other stuff you know i put the stuff from seclair journal of lifestyle medicine in there and, and i i try to time release it through the week now and i'm trying to get a little better at that um when i get in there drawbacks so far um you know you get notifications when people like a like your your clamor um follow you etc and i have uh, well over like i think it's something like you know, over a hundred followers and, and everything so far, well over at this point. And there's a lot going on there and it seems to work. And, and everyone, everything I post seems to get over about a hundred plays. And I think we've been very fortunate. I think they featured us uh, for a bit there on, on the app. So we're getting a lot of outreach there. Now, the cool thing about this is you actually, when you plug in your 18 second clip, you can then link it out to an article, a YouTube video, or MP3. I think the MP3 is really powerful because you could follow somebody through Clamor and really just listen to the podcast through that Clamor or, or go through, get that little snippet, and like, oh, that sounds interesting, hit here more. And right there in the app, you're listening to that entire, maybe it's a 45-minute podcast that I have attached to that, and now that's another podcast listen because it's coming from wherever I'm serving my MP3s from for the podcast, uh, be it a, a talk show or a Libsyn or whatever the case may be. Um, and I think that's, that's going to be really strong and really powerful out of all of those. Articles, I think it's going to be very important. Um, if you were, you know, if you had some kind of article, if you had some kind of news blog, let's say, and maybe this is something we could try doing, uh, say with insertcointobegin.com, there's a lot of news posts there. And what if we take each of those news posts and we just read 18 seconds worth of lines from it to get people, maybe the first few lines of it, you know, 
um, you know, hey, this is the Mobile Monday review. We're reviewing this and da 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 da. And then that links to an article. Now people can read the article and you can start growing out from there. A lot of opportunities. Other really cool thing. This is this is something I discovered over the past week. So if you go to sorgatronmedia.com, um, there's a widget in there from Clamor. So this is another way you can engage. Um, you know, again, I tried to kind of push everything and say, hey, we do a lot of stuff, da 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 and you got to go through. Now, if you go over there, um, on the side, whatever the latest thing is from Clamor, there's a nice little widget. It's not Flash, so it'll work in mobile. You don't have to worry about all that kind of stuff. But whatever the latest uh, Clamor is, is in there. I hit play. It's got the 18-second thing that goes. You can hit the hear more. And uh, people are listening to your, your podcast right off of the show. People don't need to go through these links in YouTube and iTunes and Stitcher in order to do this. They can just go through what we're doing. Somebody can just come to my site and start listening to my podcast from here. Like They can listen to the entire network from this little widget on the side. And I think it's going to be really powerful. It makes things accessible. And, and when you're creating content... The biggest thing is you want to lower that barrier of entry. The less steps it takes for the person to consume your content is just a better chance that they're going to catch on. And that's been a problem with podcasting, I think, for a while. Because like, what's an RSS feed? And does this thing work? And hey, your feed doesn't work here because it's coming from so many ways and so many different uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, things. And, and, and I think things like Stitcher kind of do do a good job of this if you're not in iTunes you know everybody else has to figure it out and that's been a barrier I think for podcasting but any and that's why like with a lot of my posts I still put an embedded player it's still flash I hate that and there's an mp3 download link you know I, I try in the most cases try to do that so so you don't you have you have a choice whatever's easiest for you and I try and make it as clear as possible and I, I know I can probably do a better job of that in general I know my site in general needs just a overhaul and design uh, to, to kind of push things and I'm kind of adding things and adding things and it's kind of the point I was like okay let's re reform this into something new and that's something that's going to be I, I'm hoping to figure something out by summer here uh, on top of everything else I have to do around here um, but uh, it, but uh, but anyways the clamor idea I think is really cool I, I didn't think and this was the question that Chilla had when we first talked about it was I don't know if people will get on this Apparently they are. Um, uh, I'm, I'm really surprised. These guys have reached out to the right people. They're getting a little bit of flow there, at least from what I'm seeing. Now, I haven't done this long enough to see what it impacts my numbers. But if there's 100 people listening to my stuff every day, at least the, the clamors, each one, that's 100 more people, or 100 more plays, 100 more chances of people becoming listeners um, that I didn't have before. And it's, and, 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 and it's really finding those new avenues. And, and even this, maybe getting in on this at the ground floor before it gets populated by a lot of other people. And, um, and the thing that really sold me, too, was I got in there and already a lot of the big wigs were there. TechCrunch uh, and Gadget. Uh, Twit was there. Already putting content in there. So I was like, well, if they can do it, so can I. You know? So um, I, I think it's something worthwhile. If you're doing audio, video, whatever, like I even try to take a clip from Sawtooth Willie that we release here every Monday. It's a video series we're doing um, and, and put something in there and I can link to the YouTube link. It, it makes sense. And, and you can just drop that in there or you can do something completely different. It's, it's also useful for music discovery. They're selling it on. Or I also started thinking about, can I just do a memo? kind of situation maybe you want to do an 18 second podcast in general and this is your platform can you record right there on the phone in the application and i think that could be a really powerful tool as well hey i'm down here at the david lawrence uh, convention center at uh you know the furry convention and and make sure to check out our footage on sorgatronmedia.com you know you can just do that right away and uh, I think that that could be something interesting for you to do tell people to go to clamor and hey we'll be doing spots like this all day long go check them out Lots of opportunities. So, uh, so let me know, know what you think about Clamor. I know a lot of you may not jump into it. You're maybe like me, and you're just into way too many apps to begin with, and it becomes a okay. Which one do I check now? You know, you have that list. You know, um, but uh, definitely worth checking out as a new avenue to get your show out there. I think, uh, or whatever else you have. Let me know what you think, Sorgatron.com, at Sorgatron on the Twitter, uh, comments on this video if you're watching it that way. I know audio versions as well. Or hello if you're on Clamor. Hi. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. 
Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.